Hi, and welcome to the Hedera 21 Enhancing Tokenization Challenge. Super excited to be here along with uh, Kyle Barron from BCW to promote and support the, uh, the Hedera 21 hackathon uh, and look to see what we can do in terms of building the digital assets future. Um, so my name's Scott Teal. I'm from DLA Piper. DLA Piper is a global law firm uh, with uh, offices in uh, more than 40 countries uh, and 90 different locations. Uh, we're a full service global law firm, but with a real speciality in technology, fintech uh, and disruptive technologies, legal, legal support services. Uh, one of the other uh, hats I, I wear in the firm is the uh, member of the firm's Radical Change Council. And in that capacity, I've been involved in developing our blockchain and digital assets um, ecosystem and platform, which includes our participation on the Hedera Governing Council. I'll be one of the first members of the Governing Council. And I've had the privilege of sitting as the, uh, as the firm's representative on that council for the last couple of years. Uh, we also have been building our own tokenization engine, hence the topic of today's challenge. Um, the tokenization engine has been specifically designed towards security tokens, so regulated asset backed security tokens to try and change the way in which uh, in which digital assets are created, traded um, and disseminated around around the world. So um, DLA Piper has has been developing TOCO in, in conjunction with BCW and I'll throw over to Kyle now for the intro on BCW. Great, thanks Scott. So I'm Kyle Barron, co-founder and managing partner at BCW Group. Uh, we are a strategy consulting and technology firm. We specialize in distributed networks, digital asset infrastructure, and digital payments. We have offices in Hong Kong, Seoul, and Singapore. Uh, so we're focused on both enterprise Fortune 500 clients that are bringing their sophisticated services into the digital asset space, as well as building innovative digital asset services alongside our enterprise clients to ultimately grow the overall ecosystem. We also work with legacy digital asset and crypto firms on their growth strategies and implementations in terms of unlocking their potential for mass adoption on their networks or within their business ecosystems. So we're also the program management team for TOCO in concert with DLA Piper. Our role is to shape business requirements into actionable technology build. We also lead the consortia and partnership component for TOCO. So bringing in global custodians, banks, broker dealers, and regulated digital asset exchanges for each jurisdiction that we ultimately look to issue and offer TOCO and DLA security token creation services. We're very excited to be hosting a Hedera Hackathon Challenge for the second year in a row. At age 20, we hosted the MoonPay Challenge, which made it easier for applications built on Hedera to build in fiat on-ramps for users to be able to seamlessly purchase HBAR within the applications. So at age 21, we're very excited to partner with DLA Piper to host the TOCO Challenge around enhancing tokenization functionality. So challenge topic 21, 2021. So enhancing tokenization functionality. So as we look at many use case types of tokenization of real world assets, uh, we're looking at things like commercial real estate, fine art, debt restructuring, ESG, fund structuring, et cetera. So what we're really interested in is to see how the Hedera developer community can enhance the TOCO digital asset creation engine offering by ultimately utilizing HTS and then building creative features that would excite institutional clients looking to tokenize real world assets in their portfolios. In terms of prizes, uh, we'll be offering a $5,000 HBAR prize to the winning team of the challenge. But really, we're also looking for qualified developers to join our team to help us build out feature sets around HTS that we can ultimately build into the TOCO engine and platform. So back over to you, Scott. Thanks, Kyle. So I guess looking at some of the considerations in terms of how we'll be you know, evaluating and what we're looking for from, from the developer teams that are, that are going to be working on this uh, exciting challenge. So let me just start with a little bit of um, context. So the TOCO engine that we've built has been designed for real world asset tokenization to create efficiencies, to, create, to, to reduce friction points that exist in existing capital markets and financial services ecosystems. So really we're, we're trying to understand how this technology can be, can be leveraged to reduce those friction points or create new opportunities, or in fact, create new products that don't currently exist. So one of the uh, important um, aspects of the TOCO build is our purpose statement, which is that we're looking to empower value creation. And that is really the, really the core theme around how do we take people that have assets and, and give them a way of digitizing those assets raising finance, creating new products and solutions, 
that either have features or functionality that, that isn't currently in existence, that is gonna make it more attractive to investors, that's gonna make it more liquid, that's gonna make it um, more dynamic in terms of the way it operates, that's gonna make it more transparent, perhaps using you know, in, enhanced data dissemination uh, through the use of this technology. So in terms of that build, we'll be looking for you know, how, how detailed the application is, how does it leverage the, the HTS um, service to integrate that into the token engine and, and our principle around empowering value creation. Obviously looking to uh, enhance the, the adoption of Hedera, the account creation and the tokenization services to make them you know, easy and simple for people to actually build these products. The ecosystem fit, so use cases, and Carl, you've mentioned a few of the asset classes that we're already looking at, but I think it's important to be creative here. There are a lot of uh, um, asset classes that I think are traditionally illiquid. And just this morning, I had an interesting call from someone that's looking to tokenize a back catalog of uh, well-known music, for example, um, by using this particular technology. So I don't think there's any limitations to the, to the potential scope of asset classes that could be included within a use case. And I think that will provide developer teams with the opportunity to think, well, maybe for this particular use case, we could build in these features and wouldn't that make an attractive new financial product that the world hasn't seen today. The next piece is around the interface. So I, say, I think the user interface, the user experience, the user journey, whether that's from the investor perspective or the issuer's perspective, I think is also really important. Uh, one, of the, one of the challenges I think with crypto assets still today is that they aren't necessarily that easy to handle. And security tokens, um, I think by definition, are going to be looking at uh, attracting a wider set of, of users than perhaps people who are very you know, crypto savvy already. So I think that user interface, is it simple? Is it intuitive? Does it make sense? Uh, is going to be a really important piece to how we would look to judge this. So that's all from, from me and I'll hand back to you. Thanks, Carl. Great. Thanks, Scott. So at the end of the challenge, we'll ask for your demo and contents to be reviewed by our challenge judges. Uh, you'll have both Scott as well as myself and Jeff Chewy, who leads the program management of TOCO, deciding which team hit the mark for complementing what we're doing. Uh, you'll also have the support of two mentors from our team in the Discord channel. Both David and Akriti will be available um, each day so that they can answer any questions that you have. Uh, as they also work in the TOCO PMO office, they'll be a helpful resource to align your thinking to our overall program strategy and build. So feel free to reach out to them anytime you like. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing each of your team's creations and how we can potentially work together uh, to roll out some of your features in our global TOCO digital asset creation engine and ecosystem. Thank you all very much and hello. Future.